guys, how's it going? So I have another really easy abstract nail tutorial for you. This is what it looks like. It's very similar to the last one that I put up, um, but it's just a little different. And the overall effect, the overall final design is very different. So yeah, really pretty, really easy to do. So if you wanna know how to do this, just keep watching. Hey guys, okay, so this is the nail art I'm going to be showing you how to do today. It's a really pretty sort of rainbow abstracty thing with white dots down the middle. And yeah, it's really easy, so let's get started. I have already applied a base coat and let that dry. The next thing you're going to do is take a um, piece of masking tape or any sort of low tax tape and cut a convex curve around it. So you have one edge that's nice and rounded like that. Okay, and you are going to apply that to the base of your nail. So next I'm going to take a small cosmetic sponge. This is just a piece I cut off. And I'm going to grab a shimmery red polish. I'm using Red Carpet by Sally Hansen. And I'm just going to apply that onto the cosmetic sponge. Okay, and I'm actually just going to dab it once onto a piece of paper, just so I get don't have too much nail polish being applied to my nail. And I'm just going to apply it right again, up against where the tape is. And you will have some getting on your cuticle, but that can always be cleaned up later. And you don't want to go all the way down, just about half, cover about half of the nail that's still visible. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is grab a shimmery sort of bluish color. This is Global Beauty by Nicole by OPI. And I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to cut off that part where I used the red so I have a fresh part of the makeup sponge. And so now I'm going to take this blue and apply it to the sponge. Okay, again I'm going to dab it off once and I'm going to be applying it to the inner corner overlapping the red and going about halfway across. And again I'm going to do the same thing and just cut off more of that sponge. And the next color I'm going to be using is a shimmery green. I am using Ivy League by Sally Hansen. It's a really nice mid-tone green. And I'm going to do the exact same thing and just get some on my cosmetic sponge here. Okay, and I'm just going to fill in that other corner of my nail. Okay, and this one will probably need two coats just because it's such a thin, uh, sorry, sheer nail polish. But depending on what you're using, just kind of judge whether or not uh, you like how thin or thick it's going on. And if you need it to go on thicker, then just do a second coat. Okay, and now that I have all of my stamping done, I'm just going to clean up my cuticles and then we'll be ready to move on to the second last step. Okay, so I've got my cuticles all cleaned up, and next I'm just going to take my piece of paper again, and I'm going to take some white nail polish, and just put a blob of that on there. And you're going to want to take a dotting tool. I'm actually just going to use a pencil today, because that's what I feel like. <laughs> and you're just going to create that row of dots going down the middle. So there's three rows or three columns I guess technically. So I'm just going to start with the middle one. Doing the second row. Oops, that one was a little too big. It doesn't have to be perfect because really Mine's not going to be perfect, but it'll still look good. 
Okay, so just finish that up for the rest of your nails. And then after that, the last thing we're going to do, um, this is optional, but I'm going to apply a glitter polish on top. This is my favorite glitter polish that I got from the dollar store. It's called Confetti by uh, CoverGirl. Use any glitter polish that you like and then seal it off with a top coat. And that's the final design. So, yeah, I will just finish this up and show you final pictures. So, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.